as you've heard, welcome back to SpongeBob SquarePants The Cosmic Shake. In the last episode, we defeated the main game by taking on the final boss of Cassandra and Jelly Squidward. And now we're back into the game. I don't know if there's like too much more to do. Can we talk to Squidward? Will you have anything new to say? Uno lastima. Que no me haya matado. He's no longer speaking English. Oh, Squidward's cough is getting worse. We should really bring him those refreshments. I'm so confused, but okay. I don't see Cassandra around anywhere either, so maybe it really does take place after the main game. Huh? Uh, don't forget to bring me something hot if you can find it. All right, so that's where we want to focus on things in today's episode. I want to go through basically the whole game again and start collecting things that we missed the first time through. That includes the golden doubloons, finding the spots, hiding spots, and whatever specific area collectibles there are. Things like in Wild West Jelly Fields, we have refreshments. Karate Downtown Bikini Bottom, we have fortune cookies. There's so much to do everywhere. So we'll be looking all around and trying to find that stuff in today's video. So let's get going. We should find some soothing refreshments for our dear old Squidward. And hey, so our intrepid deputies return here. to the Wild West, only to find that life goes on even after corralling the red-handed bandit. All right, so it seems like, you know, there's at least some narration of the characters talking over each other about, you know, different things we can do here. So we gotta find juice for Squidward, I guess. And, uh-oh, the train's coming. Train! Watch out! Whoa! See you, seahorse. Oh, get your juice. I just, that's what we need, right? All right, so I guess we could talk to you in just a moment. And we can Ew. backtrack. Oh, okay. Hi there. Y'all better find that juice. Or I'll have to find a new job. Yeah, I don't think he was there before. So we need to find juice around. I already see one, I think, way down there. So it will just be able to re explore all these worlds, trying to find more stuff for SpongeBob and Patrick to collect. That's great. We might try to zoom through the levels a little bit more quickly because of that, but you know, obviously it, it's stuff we've explored before, but it's a little bit different, and that's always fun. Look at some jellyfish to fight. Gotta fight those guys away. Yeah, that's definitely one of the drinks right over there, so. Ooh, more jelly! Obviously, since we have explored this stuff before, it's not too big of a deal just to go through it again. Um, right over there. And maybe that's why I was a little confused before. We would see stuff like this, and I didn't really think it led to anything. It's because it leads to these collectibles this now. This Squidward's crew. All right, well, I hope that's the case. We find the first of five refreshments, but that's not all we're looking for. As I said before, we're trying to find spots, hiding spots, as well as the golden doubloon. So I'll be looking all over the place for those. Hopefully we find them in the first run through, but it might take us some time, who knows. But since these are the, beyond that, these are the same levels, I think I might just sort of like skip around to whenever we find things. I guess it really depends. Uh, Cause you know, there's a lot going on in these levels still, I suppose. And we have more powers than out ever to fight the enemies and stuff. There you go, we get Jellyfish Hunter award unlocked. Um, very, very cool. So yeah, we'll just have to take a good look around and see what we can find. Cause it looks like there's something glimmering over Sticky here. Sweet. Oh yeah, it's one of these buttons that we definitely could not have pressed before. So this is the kind of thing I'm definitely the curious about. Like slam pizza this. Ooh, here we go. Gotta go through the fire rings. Where is this gonna lead to? I'm a little curious. I, I Oh, I see. Looks like there's some enemies over this way ready and waiting for us. Oh, what? I pressed oh, the triangle thank you, button. Patrick. Thank you. <laughs> that one didn't work out, so let's try again. So some tricky jumps, indeed. Got it? No, it did, I don't know why. It chose the button, I pressed the button, and nothing happens. Come on, this is the attempt. There we go. Got it. Gotta be careful for the ring actually like, rotating, too. Oh man, that makes it a lot more complicated. I think because I wasn't gliding. There we go. Last one, last one. There it is. And then we're just gonna beat these guys up as much as we can muster. There we go. Gotcha. Maybe Order. if I get rid of all of them. I knew I could count on you, what? Patrick. Was that it? Yeah, we get a doubloon for it. I feel cool. like Mr. Krabs. So if we pause the game, we can see for ourselves we have three out of eleven doubloons. We still have a lot more to find in that regard. I don't know if we want to go over there just yet, but I also don't see any other way to get over to it. I'll try to glide. Ah, uh, we definitely will not make that. Definitely won't. So I think that's oh, just something we you, reach Patrick. from somewhere thank else. Thank you. Okay, but that's cool that we found one extra thing there, and that's why it's definitely worth the backtrack through these levels, really, and just see what we can find. I'll try to get to as many of the levels as I can in today's episode. I don't know if we'll get through all of them, but, you know, just getting through as many as I can so that we can find all this extra stuff sounds pretty nice. I'm definitely still trying to get to 10,000 jelly in total, so that's like another big goal. 
And I think there's, you know, still going to be a golden spatula, no golden underpants you probably missed, so I'll, I'll have to be looking all over. For now, though, we just gotta get across here. And it looks like only one way to go. But I think up there, I don't know if we've been up there before. We'll see soon enough. We probably have. Getting across like this. I do see more of the bubble buttons, which I think we would have hit before. Hey, this area is looking pretty familiar. So we'll just try to speed through it wherever we have the chance to. But it is definitely fun to revisit the levels just because they were a lot of fun the first time through. So now with all these extra abilities, it's even better. Got it. I don't see too much going on over here, actually. So I'll just take away these guys. Ooh, more jelly! Trying to stay diligent just in case there's anything we've missed, but I'll go ahead and hit that, and off we go. So I think with this next seahorse section, there should be some, uh, Sorry, gotcha, nothing personal. gotcha. Some kind Ooh, of missing the balloon there. Jelly. Cause I remember seeing it, but not really being able to have a way have to get back to it. And this is Mrs. Puff's riding ranch. We did find a doubloon there. I think that was the first doubloon we found. So that's pretty cool. But is there any extras to get to? I'm not quite sure. None that I that see. Cover my buns. But I guess we'll look around real quick and see if there's anything new around here. So right over this way is one of the surfing buttons, which I guess we didn't really have that before when we were at this part of the level. I guess we'll see for ourselves now if we hit this button. Whoa, big surfboard challenge. Where is this gonna bring us though? Get on that one. Oh, I see something over there. So this goes on for a good while. Okay. Riding it then, we gotta go straight to the next surfboard. Sticky just to make sweet. sure, I guess it's a bubble board. Cool, very cool. We gotta be getting close now. This goes out for so far though. Ooh, very nervous about running out of energy with it, but so far so good. It just keeps going forever and ever though. It's gotta lead to something soon. We grab that one. It looks like it might just make it full circle. Which would be odd, because I definitely didn't see anything along here, but maybe if we just make it to the end, it'll just sort of give us something as a reward. Because yeah, it looks like we just go back from the way we came. So I grab this one. Take a little bit of a tighter turn there. Almost there, and boom. What did that do for us? It gave us a balloon, awesome. So there we go, that is another one worth the four of them now, so we still have seven more left to find. That was a pretty cool one. Okay, so I do see another drink the off in the distance pizza, over there. Okay, so we'll me. definitely grab that. I need to, I think, get over this way, just onto the roof, and then from here, here we go, here we go. Should be able to get it. Bounce off of this, glide over, and boom. Squidward, Malfi, look at me! Two out of the five drinks we're looking for, that's great. So hopefully we can find some more soon. So I do see one of the doubloons way over there, but I don't quite see a way to get to it. The train's sort of in the way, and this is definitely the one that I saw, though I was like, oh, I definitely missed that one. But I don't see a way to get to it. Okay, so here's the, I think I can just slam through here. Whoa, there it is, and get the doubloon. All right, Mrs. Puff is having a hard time there, but that was one of the doubloons that we saw before but I couldn't quite get it. I guess I just had to break all through right. all that stuff. So, glad jumping. to get it. And there we go, I'm at Manta Fe. I was able to get an award unlocked there for having 10,000 jelly. We get SpongeBob Ooh, jelly pants. Very cool, and there's also the slingshot there, which I couldn't do too much about, but there's a couple of things here in Manta Fe it looks like we can do. Back in this corner, this is new, I think. If we hit this button, I guess I just have to Hit the targets, but don't hit the, the seahorse, I'm guessing. There we go. We only have a limited amount of time to do this. We gotta be quick with it. We gotta be a quick shot here. The quickest bubble slinger in the last. Got it. And then over there. Cool. This one, this one, and that one. And then two more. Perfect four. Might have enough time for one more. There we go. Was that good enough? It was. We get ourselves another doubloon. Very cool. So that's exactly the kind of thing I need to explore around with. Just sort of see what we can find. I did see, if I could find my way back up there, there was a slingshot thing that we definitely wouldn't have had access to before, so I'm really curious about that. But first, we'll a break up some more stuff. Just because I got a lot of jelly doesn't mean I can't use more of it, right? So if I could just get up here and try out the slingshot. Whoa, are we going to the cemetery? Oh, that cemetery gives me the chills. It Whoa. does look a little drafty. 
Maybe you need- Get away from me, creepy, squishy weirdos! Get your own corpses, not mine! Could you please let me rest in peace? Help! Jeb Tentacles Jr. So Squidward's up there, or at least this, you know, this universe's version of Squidward. How do we get there to help? Do I just jump on these gravestones? I guess so. So I wanna get up there as soon as I can and just try to help him out. Hold on. Gotcha. Boom. Not too bad. Oh, hello. I would say thank you, stranger. Call me SpongeBob. But for what? The damage is already done, and I'll never get this mess cleaned up in time for the ceremony. Ceremony? Like a wedding or a birthday party? Is there cake? <gasps> Can we have some, please, Squidward? Who the trench is Squidward? My name is Jeff Tentacles Jr. And it's not a party, mold brain. It's a commemoration for the late Billy the Bass, the last real cowboy. But look at this. This is a disaster. Don't you worry, Squidward. Jeff, us cowboys always stick together. Oh, please. If you two are cowboys, then I'm a saloon girl. If only two Samaritans could tidy up before the mourners arrive. Until then, I guess I'll have to keep this cemetery locked up. Why don't we clean this mess up for you? What a great idea you independently developed here. You go ahead. I'll be over there in the shade, relaxed, uh, thinking. Thinking about your cowboy needs. Whatever. All right, so I guess we're helping out Jeff here. Uh, we need to clear the graveyard up, but there's another drink over here uh, too, so. Awesome, that's three out of five. Sucker. And we got a lot of enemies to fight away, so yeah. we'll be working on that. Definitely get rid of you. Awesome. Uh, no more chafing. Oh no, oh no, here they come, here they come. <laughs> They're trying to get us, but I think we'll just, we'll just try to get rid of whoever we can. We'll get you up, and then see you over here. I'm trying to fight him off, there we go. Do it once right now. A little difficult, but that's your chance. Boom, got you good. Back over here, hit that up, and then knock that right back at you. We're doing pretty good, we're doing pretty good. And I think, how many more enemies are there? There's actually quite a lot at the moment, so Ooh, I wanna do jelly. that, maybe back up a little bit, and then just get right back in there, hit you again. One more time, one more time. That's it. We're doing really good then. Oh no. Ooh, let's keep it that way. No I want more to chafing. do that, go over here, hit you. That's already a minute and 25 seconds remaining now. So I'm a little bit worried, but I think that might be you, the last enemy. No? Yep, clear the graveyard, we did it. Pretty cool. Uh, so can we go up there and talk to Squidward again? Or Jeff, sorry, <laughs> Squidward. I know that's not your name here. Uh, oh, we'll get the debris for it. Everything tidy? Great! Now get so I can take a nap before the mourners arrive. All right, well, Squidward doesn't want to see us anymore. They're cutting into my nap time. Scared daddle already. Well, we got the drink, we got the doubloon. I don't think there's too much for us to do around here, but it's really cool that there are side missions and levels like that. So I think we can just jump all the way back over. And one thing I definitely want to do, because I don't know if there's too much more to do here in Manta Face, specifically the outside, but I think in oh, the story, maybe there's something Poor in there. Patrick. Do you feel like we're being watched? <laughs> Potentially. Get your juice in Manta Fey. Now 100% less stolen. I'm glad, I'm glad. So let's head into the uh, little saloon. Is there anything cool to get here then? These jelly thugs got no backbone. I guess I could say that. Don't let them hurt me. I'm an ugly crier. Aw. I talk to you. Oh, can I talk to Sandy? We got cactus soda and no bandits. Sweet job, little dude. We shot sure knew where that red-handed bandit ended up. Long as he ain't around here, I reckon. All right, very cool. There's a lot of people to talk to, too. Nothing scarier than jelly bandits, except maybe vampires and public speaking. Those are both very scary things. I ain't afraid of these bandits. I'm just a conformist. All right, is there anybody more I can talk to? Can we get up here and dance with you? I guess not, I guess not. Hey, cutie pie. Care for a tune about the cactus juice heroes? Oh, they sound like a pair of noble adventurers. Yeah, and they sound handsome, too. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited. Our very own song. Oh, the Cactus Juice Heroes Save the Day. 
something, something. Man to Faye, hey. That's it. Huh, kind of short. <laughs> that was definitely a quick one. Well, is there anything upstairs then? A little dabble, do ya? I'm not sure. I'm just looking for, you know, any kind of like juice or anything like that, but it looks like there's these two. Ow! <laughs> I found ya! Wanted sponge. Hey, that was my hiding barrel. Huh, neat. There's some extra jelly up here, but really not looking like there's any kind of collectible here in the saline. So we'll leave this be, we'll head out of here and go somewhere else. If I can manage. There we go. Can we go into any of the other buildings? I'm pretty sure we like we can't, but I'll definitely try. A lot of them are boarded up or something like that. Like, what about this one? I always bet on the wrong guy in the sap duel. Last time I take advice from a seahorse. No. Oh. Did you hear? The mollusks are coming. The mollusks are coming! The mollusks? That's not good. Uh, oh, but like if Bob. these ones, yeah, we can get these ones. Do you feel like we're being... Oh, but what, what about the jail? Can I go inside of the jail? I can't. I'm pretty sure that's where Mr. Krabs is. Hey, there's a bounty on the red-handed bandit. Have you seen that blasted outlaw in these parts? No, sorry. I'm new in town. But that bandit does look familiar. Focus, Patrick. We're looking for Mr. Krabs, not bandits. All right, well, we already got that all figured out. So I guess there isn't really too much else left to do here in Manta Fe. I'll take a quick poke around. If not, we'll move to whatever's next. I think that there might be some over this way. There we go. Okay, so yeah, right down this way, we've got a, a drink or two to grab. So let's grab this. this. Oh, and then there's a slingshot. So we got four to five there. Where will this bring me though? Oh, is it gonna bring me under the gigantic jellyfish thing? Whoa, I don't think we've been under here. Whoa, and there's enemies waiting for us, a whole horde of jellyfish. Uh-oh. And we can't karate kick jellyfish. That's the one thing we can't really do. They're not like a typical enemy, so might be a bit complicated here, but we can definitely do it. Gotcha. Gotcha. And then get rid of some of these guys. And then, ooh, definitely get rid of the range enemies wherever we can, but there's still a lot of jellyfish to get to. Same thing up here, gotcha, and then last one, boom! And that got us Whoa, another doubloon. A gold doubloon! That was cool. So I'm still looking around for the final uh, drink, but very cool to get our eighth doubloon. Three more of those left to find somewhere out there. Whoa, okay, I got something there. Sponge, sponginator. I guess maybe for breaking just random objects, either it be the tiki heads or something like that. We're just getting a lot of random little achievements right now, which is great. That means we don't have to really go out of our way to get them later. So happy to get those for sure. Ooh, more jelly. Oh, and look at this. We also found Spot's hiding spot. Pretty nice. I think we were over here before, but we just didn't find that because we hadn't activated that mission yet. So finding Spot's hiding spot is always great. So at this point, we're just looking for one more refreshment and three more doubloons. Ooh, so we're a little bit farther along with the level, and oh, hello. Howdy, mister. Take a shot at beating your bubble surfing record. I don't think we did this before. Pretty sure we didn't. I guess we'll find out in just a moment. We gotta defeat these enemies. Gotta do a lot in a certain time frame. Was that it? Okay, wait, the bubble, wait, it's gone. Do I not get another chance? Okay, no, there it is. I was, I was getting a little bit worried there that maybe I was a little too preemptive. Uh, We can jump over to this one. Go, 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 go and then start Sorry, beating these guys up. Gotcha, gotcha, and gotcha. They're all defeated. Ooh, more jelly. Was that everything? Not quite, there's still more bubble surfing to do here, bubble boarding. And there's the doubloon waiting for us as long as we can get there and boom, we got it. You have anything you need to say? yippee ki yay, that's some good surfing. So that was our ninth golden doubloon. Really happy to see that one. I need to remember which way I was, I, I think I came in from that way, so. I'm still trying to find some more stuff throughout this level. I'm sure we'll discover more of it soon. And look at this, we're right by the little cactus before this sort of strip of star platforms and the falling um, puffer fish. We have Squidward Mouthy Parch for low. Our parchments. So we'll definitely be getting those to Squidward later on. Um, and I, I wonder uh, if that'll get I us into Bloom. Uh, sweet. Back at the other place. Um just at Bikini Bottom. I, I really hope so, but I guess I'll have to wait and see. Either way though, glad we got one mission done. I still think there's more to do that. You can see there's something up here. Obviously we still have more doubloons to find. Already. But there's a big button to press. I'm gonna slam this and that. Oh, didn't do anything at first, but then I did it again and, and we got it. So come on, come on. 
There's a Diploon waiting for us up here. Oh, Boom! Thank you, Patrick. All right, thank well, you. we fell after, but that's okay. So we're now at the 10 Diploons, only one more left to find. Okay, so we made our way back into the caves, and one thing I was really curious Ooh, about this spot jelly. is there's gotta be something with the Alaskan bullworm, right? Because it was, ooh, it was like teasing it the whole time, but then nothing really happened. So there's a big button waiting for us over here that we could not have pressed before, and there, no wait, that's not it. That's not the Alaskan bullworm. That's just a normal one of the slime monsters. I don't know. Huh, maybe if we beat you though. Where'd you go? You were, were over there for now, but you're coming over. Actually, maybe that was just your friend. Can't really tell. There's more of them popping up though, for sure. Got one over there. These are cool enemies, but they're not quite the Alaskan bullworm. So maybe if we defeat all these guys, something will happen. Um, that was one of them. There's another waiting for us over here. We're gonna get over there quick and just boom. I didn't realize they had little arms. That's so cute. So we'll hit you like that. I'm gonna slam you again. Get you back out one more time. Should do the trick. Got you good. There's still at least two more of them hanging out around here. So we got some work to do. Oh, oh, okay, that didn't work. Maybe we can, ah, get you back out. There we go, get you like that. Yeah, we are, do have a timer I'm just now realizing too. So making the most out of this remaining minute would be important. So got that one. And then there's this last guy over here. Come on, take you on. Here I come. Okay, slam you back up, get you. Come back up again. And then one more time, right there. Right here, gotcha. Oh, we get some more jelly for it. You do care. So that sent me back. Why? Whoa! Oh, we get the doubloon for it. That's cool. Like and they pop up again if we want to. A new tier, new tier unlocked. That was our last golden doubloon we needed to find for this area. It was perfect, but no Alaskan bullworm. That sort of bumming me out. What if we go inside one of these? Nothing really. And I hit the button again so these enemies are popping back up, but I don't think defeating them again would do anything. There's gotta be a way to see the Alaskan bullworm. There's no way they could do that to us, but I don't see anything else we can do around here. That's sort of a letdown. I don't understand why there'd be all these signs and all these things sort of being like, watch out for the Alaskan care. bullworm if there wasn't supposed to be one. Very odd, I'll keep looking around. So we're heading back to Bikini Bottom now. It looks like we found everything that there is in the Wild West jellyfish fields. Obviously, we had found some stuff through the first time, a couple of the balloons. We found the golden spatula. I don't think there's anything else at the find, um, but. I think he lost his pants. I don't know what we're talking about, but hi, Squidward. <sighs> That's much better. I guess I have to thank you now, huh? I'm just glad I could help one of my best friends in the whole world. If the world is so wide, I'm sure you can pick a new friend. And that gives us, what do you know, a gold doubloon. I'm rich! Don't you have to be annoying somewhere else? All right then, so that's another mission done, which is great. We're still looking for one more sticky note. I figure we should do that now while we're still here. So we'll take a look around really quickly and see what else there is to find. There's gotta be um, that last sticky note somewhere. Ooh, I think it's over here. Yeah, definitely, because we have the, uh, you know what? the little grief blower. I think we can pick this up and you know, you'd suck up a bunch of enemies or something like that. Get as many as we can. Oh yeah, here comes some more. I just need a tiny bit more. There we go. And I should be able to jump and then launch it all into this, right? How do I shoot? There we go, break all that open. Bounce up again and whoa, we have not been up here. These little fragments of Glove World. Uh, I can't, oh, I can launch it. Ooh, the instant takedown, that's cool. That's a fun way to get rid of that enemy. So we haven't been up here at all. This is really neat. Um, Got more enemies and stuff Order though. Up. But is this it? No, I think I can bounce up here. Here's hoping. Uh, no, I can't. I'm a little confused then. There's gotta be more. There's gotta be a sticky note up here somewhere. Am I missing it? It won't let me jump up there. So it's not that, oh no. Now I'm stuck. <laughs> not good. Ooh, an enemy popped up over here. It's one of these guys again. I haven't really seen too many of them, but I guess I could just, Get rid of them like that. Oh, and that got me a sticky note. Make do sticky good notes. Well, that one was almost a sentence. All right then, so it looks like with that we have found all of the sticky notes. I, I guess sitting up here seems like a good something. Ready to blow. At least give me another enemy to defeat. 
That's pretty cool. Anyways, that was so interesting. And down here, of course, is where we found Glovor before, but. Mm, I love the smell of popcorn. I would love to take you to the hospital, but the ambulance can't move right now. Uh, that's all right. I understand. Sure, no. It's not I was like eating the popcorn. Get Everybody's talking over each other. Let's get out of here. But it looks like we just need to go back to Patrick's house. And there should be some kind of mission to redeem. I'm guessing this is gonna be another Dublin, but I'm glad we got that done. So, so far it's um, Wild West Jellyfish Fields and Bikini Bottom that are getting wrapped up pretty well. But right over here at Patrick's house, what about this? We did it! All of your giant sticky notes are back where they belong. <laughs> uh, where did I leave my giant pen? I'm not quite sure. So we'll go I ahead bet. and grab that. And that means we're at quite a few doubloons. I think we're gonna do one more one in today's episode. We'll do Karate, Downtown Bikini Bottom. Um, should be pretty good. So yeah, let's get going with that one. We have to find spots, hiding spot, and collect fortune cookies all over the place. Movie sets have lots of craft services, so cool. we might be able Looks to find like the old folks cookies have here. To the set but there's of this one thing Ars, motion picture. For, it Sandy is was left on the cutting cookies. room floor, but the cameras keep on rolling. I want to hear what both SpongeBob and Patrick have to say as well as the narrator. I don't know why it plays them all at once. You'd think that'd be a pretty easy thing for that not to happen, but it seems to be happening everywhere in the game. Sticky but sweet. from what I can gather, what they were saying there, of course, is that no we can more. find the fortune cookies around here, but on top of that, um, we can find Sandy, and Sandy was not in the films anymore. I guess she got cut out of the film or something like that. I'm not only entirely Sticky sure, sweet. but either way, we're gonna be running through these levels so that we can find, you know, more collectibles. So for this one, we need to find the fortune cookies and plenty of other stuff along the way. So hopefully we can stumble across just Look that soon enough. Go! And here already is something that we didn't have before, this little hook here. So I guess we can just go back through the other portion of this level. Okay, yeah, we're way up here now. Whoa, okay, so we're sort of backtracking, doing these little hook swings. Just like that. Got this one through the fiery ring, and that gets us. You do care. Maybe something. A golden balloon. Rich. Perfect. Okay. And I don't think we would have gone up here either. Maybe I shouldn't have jumped down. I'll have to wait for the balloon to pop hey, back up. What? There it is. Huh. I really don't think we would have. So we got this whole vent system. Whoa, and there's some electrified water down this way. So we're finding cool stuff already. Got it, got it. And another doubloon. So we're finding the doubloons pretty you, quick. That already gets us up to five of them. Only five more left to go. We'll wait for that to explode. Oh no. Guess we didn't wait long enough. But that seems like everything in this, at least, is a little starting area. Oh, and it looks like we found our first fortune cookie. So we made our way out of the little red carpet room. We're with the trailers now. And if we jump up here, you can see fortune cookie number one. Your lucky number is 24. <laughs> Oh, there's only one number funnier than that, right? I'm sure you can take a guess at which one. So there's that done. Can we go inside this? I can't work like this. Yeah, me too. I'm going back home. Oh no. What about over here? Uh, I guess we can't do anything for that one. So we'll keep looking around. There's gotta be more fortune cookies and other secrets waiting for us soon. It looks like as we make our way over here, this is where we first run into Squidward, I think. We can find another spot, a hiding Please, spot, body, if body, I body. can get over here. Ooh, that might be a tough jump to make, but oh, I, maybe I missed one. Maybe that wasn't as far as I thought it was. I don't know, weird. Uh, we'll, we'll try to make that jump again. Huh, oh, it's moving, I see. That's what makes it a little bit more complicated. But we get up here and that is a spot hiding spot. So that's the only one we needed to find, of course, for this level, but as we head down this way, we have our second fortune cookie. How fortunate for the elderly. <laughs> All right then, so yeah, fortune cookie Ow. number two. We still have five more left to find around here, so we gotta keep working on it. Oh, okay, we have our fortune cookie over here during the the, this uh, side scrolling section. I was able to find it, luckily. Sweet. And I think I I might have gotten an extra bubble there. I don't think that was an extra balloon or anything. But there's a fortune cookie there on the little part of that box, so glad we grabbed that one. This area can always be a bit difficult. Ooh, okay, just found one in the trash can here. We're in the back alley section, right after the, the back lot, the, the side scrolling section we just did. So there we go, another we one. Found a cookie. Four out of seven, so three more left to find. I know there's definitely something up there we've yet to touch on, Sticky so. Sweet. Just sort of looking around to find out what's next for us here. Um, I'll definitely get rid of you. And I think maybe up this way if there's a way to get over there. Oh, you can see SpongeBob's pants there. And Patrick's. 
Interesting. Um, hmm. I'm not seeing it from over here, but there's definitely gonna be a way over to that uh, stuff. So, I think he lost his pants. oh, there's a slingshot, which we definitely wouldn't have had the opportunity to, to use before, I'm pretty sure. A little so let's get up here and give it a try. This will launch us where? We way up here. And then from here, I guess to this side? Yeah, this is definitely new. Doesn't seem very familiar to me at the least, but it's not really leading to anything that we haven't gotten. So maybe we have done this? Where does this bring me? Way over here, oh, okay. And that will definitely be Whoa, for a new gold balloon. balloon. That means that we're up to, to uh, six out of 10 of them, so there's still four more to find at those, but definitely making some good progress. Okay, we're in this little section where we can karate kick to a lot of things. I don't know where the slingshot leads, so way up here, which, what do you know, we'll have another doubloon waiting for us. So let's snag that pocket. one. Now we're at seven out of 10. We're really starting to jump up, which is really cool. So just trying to find as many as I can. Okay, looks like we have our next fortune cookie on top of this table. No one likes your neighbor, Squidward. Aw. Huh, that one's specific, huh. For Squidward, and I think we're currently at uh, the Paparazzi Street, so yeah, glad to get that one. We're still looking for two more, and also three Sweet. more of the coins. We're getting there, though, for sure. Okay, we're in this new section. I already see a slingshot we definitely wouldn't have been able to use before, so we'll just have this launch us already, just to see what it ends up getting us. We jump over here. I thought that window in the background was the coin. Whoa, it's the every flower, so we can step on this button and get some enemies. Let's see what you got. Sweet. We need a little bit more of that. Maybe if I jump. There we go. I guess if we jump and then go back up. Here we go. Got it. And that gets us across this way, no problem. There's more to do. Bring it over here. And the reef floor if we need it, but luckily we still have it. And then seeing the other on this one. Sticky sweet. Got a couple of enemies. Stand back on it. And that this is enough. Has the reflexes of a catfish. Ooh. Okay, so. The first nautical bank right there. That should be the coin we're looking for, so we got it. Awesome, so what are we at now? Just two more left to find. Ooh, and look at this, we found ourselves another fortune cookie just under the street light here, right before we get into the walk of fame. Cookie. Very cool, I don't see anything else we could have missed, but I'll be looking around just in case. Well, here we go, another button to press on top of this ambulance. Ooh, it is a reef floor one, so I'll have to grab some enemies from somewhere. Uh, here this are a couple. Jelly has the reflexes of a reef. Ooh, more Whoa. Jelly. That was pretty intense. Who can I launch? I see you over there, able to get rid of both of their hit points because of that is pretty cool. We'll grab you right over that way, but there's a couple more enemies to grab. There we go, there we go, come on. Can we just, we can just suck you up, no problem, dude. That's awesome. Uh, and let's see. Yeah, I can't get these enemies like that, though. So that's where it gets a little bit complicated, but I can launch it like that and get both of them beautiful. And I think this is the last one, right? I guess not. Oh, there's a little guy over here. All right, let's get to you as soon as I found that. No more chasing. Come on, come on. Gotcha, there's actually two of them there. But that's still not all of them. There's still more little guys popping up. Sweet. Huh. Was there any that I passed back this way? I hear a seahorse, but I don't see any more enemies. There's gotta be a couple though. Ready Down over low. here. Maybe if I launch this. Boom, big explosion. There's gotta be some enemies hiding behind something. Ah, you gotcha. Care. And that gets us another I'm golden rich. doubloon. Very cool. Ooh, so we're right at the entrance of the big dojo thing. Look at the fortune a cookie, we're right there. By your side. And sometimes he's above me too. Aw. So there we go. We were able to get all the fortune cookies. And now we're just looking for one more coin. So that's gotta be around somewhere. Oh yeah, it was this. I remember this seeing this, so we the couldn't really do anything about it. Is that pizza for you and me? So all we have to do is press this button and boom, go on a little race. So let's try this out. I'll we'll be able to get over to the slingshot too. Uses a whole combo of different things, which is always fun because we definitely didn't have the hook ability at this point. Got it. Or the slingshot, so being able to combo all those things up, go all the way over here. Whoa, we are flying so far. Oh my goodness. That is probably the farthest slingshot we've seen thus far in the game. We can also speed boost through Whee! these rings. Got it. Just like that. 
and doing good. No, no, no. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. And now we can surfboard through this stuff. I think we're yeah, we're almost at the finish. We still have a good chunk of time left too. Uh oh. Uh oh. Ooh, that was a close one. Come on, SpongeBob, you can make it. I and knew I could boom, count on we you, got Patrick. it. So that is going to be. Everything collected Woo! here in Karate Downtown Bikini Bottom. How awesome is that? So we're gonna go back to Bikini Bottom to return these fortune cookies to whoever needed them. I can't thank you enough, SpongeBob. Hopefully those fortune cookies will get them to relax. They're acting like they're 70 again. <laughs> it sounded like they had a lot of fun, so maybe finding their youth again was a good thing. All right then, so deliver the fortune cookies to the nurse. She seemed to appreciate it. I shouldn't let them wait for too long. And we'll grab Ooh, this. A gold doubloon. So there is two levels done. We still have many more to go. I think we'll be doing a little bit more in today's episode. We'll have to wait and see. I don't really know if, how I want to do it, um, but we'll just keep adding more and more to it. I think that it'll be a longer episode for me than it is for you guys, obviously, because I need to do all this jumping around. So next up is Pirate Lagoon. I bet we can find Mr. Krabs' lucky pennies here. Can we just give the guy time ah, and call it so a day? So SpongeBob and Patrick return once again to the swashbuckling expanse. Admiral Prawn may have said au revoir, but those delicious pie bombs continue to rain down. All right, so as I say, the pie bombs are still on their way down from those ships. We need to re retrieve lost pennies and find four of those doubloons. And I think we've already found the spot, hiding spot for this one. So that's at least out of the way, but we still got plenty more left to do around this area. So we'll be getting started with it all a right here. Incoming pie. Oh no, a pie's coming in. But since we've seen most of this. Still pack a bunch? No? Interesting that, okay, so Admiral Prawn left, but you can still hear his voice lines here. That's neat. But yeah, we'll just keep oh, running around until we find our Say next objective. Pie. So I believe that our first little collectible is right over here. I think we are in the Bongo Beach checkpoint, and this is when we ran through in our first part of the adventure, but couldn't break into it, but now we can. If we double jump and slam, like we can Mr. get in Krabs. there and get our doubloon. So that's pretty cool. Glad to get that one. So we're already down to just three more left to find for those, but I've yet to see any of the lost pennies. And it looks like we have found our first lost penny. It is very easy to get those mixed up with the balloons, but we were just over there on that island to get that first Sticky balloon. Sweet. And then on this part right here, we get our first hidden penny. Another prize penny for the collection. Awesome, so that's one out of five. Four more left to find. Okay, so we're sort of in, I think, the swamp area, scurvy swamp and made our way all the way over here. There is yet another super slam like area Krabs. where we can, of course, get another doubloon. So getting really far with those, only two more left to go now, but we're still looking for more pennies. I don't know how the doubloons are popping up more often than the pennies are. Oh, there's another penny. So we're sort of in the center jelly. of the swamp area now. I don't know how I missed this one before, but here it is, our second penny, just chilling out. Mr. Krabs is gonna be so happy when we give him this. Okay, so I'll keep exploring around, but that was another good one. So not too much more left to find. If we keep looking around, I'm sure we'll find more stuff soon. Oh, I think I see it in there. Okay, so we got in this big sand castle here. This is the whole sand castle section. We have, boom, this right here. for my favorite employer. All right then, very cool. Three out of five lost pennies. Only two more left to find. Hopefully there's more around here somewhere. Oh, okay, I think there's already another one over this way. I think we just reached a checkpoint too. This is Musical Mermaid, if I had to guess. I think so. But there's another Super Slam section, so this should be probably another doubloon. Yep, boom, got you. it. <laughs> all right, SpongeBob's making a bunch of noises. It's interesting that almost all of the doubloons here are hidden by Super Slams, but that was our third one. So we're really just looking for one more doubloon, and then we should be good to go. So that was Sticky great for sweet. sure. Where could the next, uh, Penny B. It seems like there's sort of one per checkpoint at the most. So definitely just looking around to see what's next. Add another checkpoint here. I think this is going to be a shipwreck treasure. It's really cool that you can sort of teleport to these checkpoints whenever they pop up. And it's right another next to it too. Penny for the collection. So we are getting really close now. One more penny and one more doubloon, and then we're good to get out of this area. So this one is actually turning out to be some really quick work. So we've already found the spot, hiding spot, the golden spatula. I don't think there's anything else really to discover beyond those kind of things. Ooh, there it is. So I think we're out the second to last checkpoint here, the Port Royal or Jelly Royal. 
And it has been a while just looking through this area as you can see it's a pretty big one. But we're almost at like the end of it. And here's the final missing penny. Boom, appetit! <laughs> all right then, so we can return all of those to Mr. Krabs. Oh man, there's so many enemies. So many. But uh, yeah, we can return those to Mr. Krabs after we find our last doubloon. Then I think we're all wrapped up here. Ooh, I already see it in the distance. This should be the last one. So this is probably gonna be our last checkpoint, um, the Admiral Prawn one. So if we get all the way over here, while well, he used to launch this stuff out as slam like this, and boom, get ourselves the final doubloon of this area. We also get a new tier unlocked. We'll be spending our jelly soon enough, but there we go. That is Pirate Goo Lagoon off finish up. We'll go back to Bikini Bottom to at least get our lost penny reward from Mr. Krabs. That should be pretty good. All right, we're at Krusty Krab, and look who it is, none other than Mr. Krabs. Me pennies! Thank you so much! I'm really happy that you feel better now, Mr. Krabs. All right, there we go, so boom. A gold doubloon! When you and I were young, Penny. <laughs> so he's just singing to his Penny now. Hey, that's another one to get completed. Now we have, I guess our next stereo would be, I think it goes prehistoric kelp forest. Uh, medieval Sulphur Fields, Halloween Rock Bottom. We might be doing it a little out of order. I can't quite remember, but I guess it doesn't matter too much. We'll try Prehistoric Kelp Forest next. Um, find spots, hiding spot, find hot objects, and of course we still have one more doubloon somewhere in this one to find. So, let's get going. Free, free for Sandy! Look around us! SpongeBob uses the cosmic jelly not only to return to the Prehistoric Kelp Forest, but to return to his bout with a whaling whale. Oh my. So, yeah, I guess we have to get back through here just as we did before. We gotta get through all this, but <laughs> cool to hear the characters talk again. And ooh, already we're gonna find one right there. So that's our first of five hot objects. We got plenty more to get through, but I'm glad we were able to discover that one pretty easily because of all that. So we'll have to keep looking around for the rest of them. Oh, I don't think this is something we ran into before. There really hasn't been too many secrets to find just yet. I don't know, we found the one hot object. I haven't found too many others, but in the meantime, uh, we are at the Sleeping Doradon, right? Yeah, Sleeping Doradon, and there is a reef blower here. So I guess we need to go all the way around with the reef blower. I don't really know exactly what we're doing here, but you know what? We definitely wouldn't have done this before. This one enemy is really trying to get me but I guess we're just trying to loop around or something. We have a minute to do this. Uh-oh, oh, can I make it, can I make it? Yes, I can. Come on, over to another one. I guess maybe making a full loop around will give us enemies or something that I can launch at it? Because that little blue thing wasn't there before. Okay, I've made it. What did that accomplish? Uh, good question. I am not sure. Maybe this is not what I was supposed to do. Maybe I'm just supposed to go down this way. No, that cancels it. What? I'm so confused. Okay, what I think I'm supposed to do, I obviously don't really explain this very much, but I'm supposed to get a little sections like this where I can, you know, take in some jellyfish. And then there's another one over that way. So if we could take in those two jellyfish, that should probably be enough. Here, let's see, can I even make it from here though? It's gonna be a little bit scary, but I think we can. All right, almost, almost, and got it. Get these two, and we have a full pack at this point, so all we need to do, fly back over here and bust that wall down, and that should be enough. All right, come on, come on, and got it. Launch it, boom, we're in, and that is gonna be a doubloon. Cool, and that was the last doubloon for this area. We have four out of four, there weren't too many. The collectibles have been odd so far around here, but I'm glad we got that done. Oh, I think I see it over here. We're sliding down. These guys are trying really hard to get me at the moment, but oh, we got it. Awesome, so that's our second hot object. I'm sure there's more to find soon, but I'm glad we're making progress with that one. Oh, we're in this giant lava volcano cave deal going on, and I see another one of the hot objects. So we just need to make these crazy jumps all around with these enemies were trying to slam on me. Now is not the time. And I think I might just have to wait here. Whoa, whoa, I don't know if I can wait. There we go, there we go, we got it. Three out of five. Oh my gosh, these jumps are perilous. We're almost getting toasted here, but I'm trying to make my way through. Oh my gosh, that is tough. And we're a little bit farther into the same cave. I already see another one over here. 
Now to make this jump might be a bit challenging, but we can just roll right through it and get our fourth one. So hopefully the fifth one's not too far along. Oh man, it gets tough, but so far definitely worth it. And there it is. Okay, so all we need to do for this one is get onto this little lava plume section and boom, that is the final one. Now we have to just bring all the hot objects back to Sandy. And I think for this area, we still need to find spots, hiding spots somewhere. I really hope I haven't missed it. Wait, it's right here? We we were here in the, the cave painting cave. And that's what it's called, right? Cave painting cave. It's just right behind us. How did I not see that? I feel so silly. Let's go ahead and scoop you up. Well, we found spots, hiding spots. So that should be everything here in the prehistoric hell forest. We actually did a really good job. We zoomed through that one super quick. So let's go try to find Sandy. All right, so Sandy is right next to Squidward, right over here. Just what I needed. These will keep the tree dome hot as a flaming tamale. Thanks for helping me out, SpongeBob. Always happy to help a friend in need. All right, awesome, so here's I our feel like Mr. Krabs. Warm and cozy. I'm almost fixing the hibernate. All right then, so that that's good. Glad we got that one done. Um, do we have all the spot hiding spots? I think we do. So let's return to Plankton with all of our spot stuff then. Plankton, of course, will be at the Krusty Krab. So that's, I mean, the, the Chum Bucket, which is right across from the Krusty Krab. So we'll talk to you, look at Spot, huh? Spot! How dare you run away like that? I don't think it was his fault. Silence! This little chum got me worried sick. Don't you do that to me again, ever. Us. Yes, yes, us. Aw, so here's hmm? another I one. Put you in my pocket. Gosh, SpongeBob, I wonder who called the sanitation police on you. Must be someone who holds a grudge. Correct. <laughs> All right. Time to get back to business as usual. Thank you, SpongeBob. Our pleasure. So I'm glad we were able to find all the spots. We get another doubloon for that. There's still two more to find, of course, here for Bikini Bottom. To do those, we need to do, I guess, all of the hidden stuff here, Medieval Sulphur Fields and for Halloween Rock Bottom. So let's go for it. Medieval Sulphur Fields, we have um, Twitchy. Um, I guess we need to talk to her for a magic potion of some sort, so. On top of that, we also have five golden doubloons. So a lot to do here for sure. And so our brave knights ride valiantly into the fairy tale kingdom once more. Pearl is no Whoa, longer princess of the ball, the but there is plenty ever. more revelry in this realm. So this is uh, what space looks like. All right, well, <laughs> they're talking over each other Ooh, again. These clouds are so fluffy. And they float just like me! SpongeBob, I'm home. Aw, I'm glad to hear it, Patrick. I do remember there being a side path here where we could have gone a balloon that I unfortunately missed. So this is definitely my opportunity to grab that. I need to remember exactly where it is though, so that's where the difficult part of this comes in. But for now, let's keep riding along here. Jump over. So far, so good. Hopefully I'll know it when I see it. I feel like I'm flying. But so far we're doing pretty good. You are flying, Patrick. Oh boy, so we wanna avoid these, but if we go right by them, they do explode to give us extra jelly, which is always good. Oh, it's right up there. I didn't even see the no option to get to it. I'm so confused. I must have missed it somewhere. There must have been a hook somewhere or something. Huh, I have to keep trying. Do I get a, a second to over? Not really. Okay, I'm gonna restart. I gotta be able to find the way over there somehow. So I think I missed it right over here. So yeah, like right before, when we get on this surfboard, I see now I'm supposed to get over this way and hook our way over. And this leads to a whole different collection of stuff. We need to go through the ring to get boosted. Oh, you're oh, kidding me. No, I can't believe it. I missed it again. Okay, this time I got it. Just like that, we get boosted through and we're good to go. Okay, so now I activate all this stuff and we're, we're gonna make a straight line right over to this doubloon. Like All right, so we still have a lot more doubloons to get. We have four more in total, but that was a good start for sure. So hopefully we can find those other ones soon. I know there's a good chunk of collectibles in this area specifically we're still missing. Maybe not like Spot's hiding spot, but I know that there was another pair of golden underwear that we couldn't find Ooh, a way into. Jelly. So maybe with our newer abilities, we can find a way. We'll have to wait and see. Maybe somebody around here knows how to make a magic potion for Gary. Oh yeah! Exactly. Let's get this potion in motion. 
So there's a couple of things here. I skipped to this one from Cloud Slide over to Twitchy's Cottage because we need to talk to Twitchy about a magic potion. I think we want to do that first so we're not exploring this whole area and then having to re-explore it again, finding whatever Twitchy might need us to find. So I think we'll get to that first. Twitchy should just be right up here. Hi, Twitchy. Good morrow, Miss Twitchy. Would you happen to know of a magic potion that could shrink a giant snail back down to normal size? Hmm. Giant snail, huh? Well, I got a potion for giant scallops, but that should work. Probably. Uh, just bring me the ingredients on this list. Can you make a potion that turns me back to normal, too? Ooh, something tells me you were never normal to begin with, kid. Yikes. You are a good judge of character. One extra large half-sweet decaf potion for an extra large snail coming up. Okay, so now I think that makes a bit more sense. We're gonna be running around trying to find potion ingredients. So I see the first one right over here. Maybe they're gonna be a lot more straightforward. I'm not really Another sure. Potion but ingredient. That's Sweat our first one. Sardine. Sounds salty. I guess we'll get through here and see if there's any others that I can find. <laughs> After this takes its time, it will slam down to get down faster. But I guess we'll just keep looking. If there's any more off this way, we'll, we'll definitely head over to finding them. Okay, I do see, I think, one way in the distance over there. So there are certainly some to discover around here. But right now, I just want to get over as soon as we can and find ways over there. Hopefully, we can discover them pretty fast. Okay, we're making our way up and boom. Potion. Hogfish snout. All right then, so that was all pretty good. That's our second potion. We still have five more to find. I'm guessing that at some point we'll have to backtrack to the areas we sort of skipped over for some more of them. I just wanted to make sure we got that activated activated before that so I don't have to double back on everything in extra time. But I figure, you know, we might as well keep going this way to see what else we find in the meantime. Who do you think is running this place now that Princess Pearl is gone? Who knows? Perhaps they've established a proto-democracy based on shared labor and freedom from a single ruler. <laughs> yeah, or maybe uh, the king is a baby. <laughs> well, that would be interesting, Patrick, but we do have a cauldron right in Toad front of this. Stool tang. Now this one's a little funky. And I still don't know a way in there. That's another golden pair of underwear, which would give us some extra health. That's always useful, but I don't see maybe um, a Ooh, reef blower or anything jelly. we can pick up. I'll have to look around for sure, because there's gotta be something. What oh, up? is it really just, huh? I think it might be back here. Oh, would you look at this? I think, yep, we just found it. How sneaky is that? So we can grab this and boom, we now have bus? six points of health, so I don't think there's one of those in every level, but at least we found Sticky it here, sweet. you know? So really cool stuff, glad to get that one too. Oh, and it looks like I just found another cauldron. Another potion ingredient. Ooh, more jelly. Every time he cuts himself off from his own dialogue. <laughs> wish there, I wish I could do more about that, but either way, we got through that. I don't know if there's any more around here, but that was definitely good, because we're already at the four of them, only three more left to find. Sticky sweet. And this Ooh, one's really simple. Are starting soon. Goody. I guess so. We got Hello, a cauldron right there. Hello's catfish Rest whiskers. Oh, glad I got my paws on these. I heard. All right. Well, no that one was just chilling there. Here. That one was super easy to find. So I'm glad to have gotten it. But yeah, that should be five out of seven. Two more left. Where could they be? Maybe there's some more around here. Oh, and I think I finally found at least another one of them. I'm here in the you know, the main castle right before we face off with Pearl, right? Or not Pearl, but you know, like the whole Pearl slumber party, whatever it's supposed to be. Boom. Another potion Got ingredient. It. Sweat of sardine. <laughs> <laughs> all right, well, I'm glad to have that one. I've been looking all over for the last one. Hopefully we can find it soon. If it's not over here, then I'm not sure where it is. So here, let's take a quick peek. I don't see it over here Once, though. Once or maybe twice upon a time, Sir SpongeBob returned to the princess's ball. Somebody needs to keep the party going after all. Oh, we could do it again if we wanted to. I don't know if I really want to do that right now, but that's cool. Uh, and then Quitchy shows back up again. You two need a little break from the dad's floor. All right, we've done all this before. It's not what we're looking for. So I'll have to backtrack now to find the last cauldron. Okay, we're back in the uh, 
the garden maze, and at least we, we see this right here with the reef flower. I guess I can suck a bunch of enemies. We get spring cleaning. Trophy earned for that one, that's cool. But what are we supposed to do with this thing? Oh, I see you over here. Okay, so I'm gonna launch out at you really quickly. I'm sure we can get another one in no time, right? Maybe if I suck up some of the stuff over here. We got a jellyfish, and then that didn't work. No, it did work. Okay, just took a second, and there we go. Did that get us anything? Maybe a doubloon? Yes, it did. So I'm glad we found at least one of the balloons I'm putting you right over here. Cool, so that gets us up to eight of them. Three more left to find somewhere. Oh, and here's another cauldron, so this is the last one. A potion ingredient, catfish whiskers. Ooh, more jelly. Every time I run into a yeah. jelly, he just cuts that himself jelly off. Have a really good karate teacher. All right, so as you can see, we got all of the, the potion ingredients. We'll return them to uh, Twitchy as soon as we can. But oh, look at this. It looks like we already have another opportunity. There's mushrooms? Huh, to uh, run around with the reef blower and get another doubloon. So I definitely want to work on this. Because we still have a couple of doubloons to find, I think, if I'm not mistaken. Ready to blow. There we go. Don't need the health right now, we're fine. Oh, what's over there? Haven't we been this way before? Feels familiar. Um. Well, that was a nice shortcut, I guess, but where's the, the balloon? A little confused. Uh, gotta be around here somewhere. Oh, here we go, here we go. Grab that right there. One, one jellyfish is enough. Interesting. But I'll grab a few more here, All just right. so we have it. I think it's ready, Patrick. It's ready, but where do we go with it is the question. I'll go this way for now. Um, yep, right over here. Press the spun, get a couple more, and then got it again. Ouch. Ouch. Okay. Mm. Ow. I guess I can Look maybe me make that. You, no, you I can. Ah, can. oh, you're kidding. Okay, well, I sell the reef bar, so it's fine. I guess I just gotta get away from, get around from this way. No, you can you not karate kick? When you have the reef floor on? What do I do now? I guess I could suck these up, and maybe I could just launch it from here. That would be convenient. Maybe that's all I need. Uh, I will try to make this jump again. Okay, there we go, this time I did better. Guess it was just a matter of uh, spacing out the jumps a little bit, and there's the blue anyways. Very cool, so that gets us up to nine out of 11, two more left to find somewhere out there. Well, wait, is this you something? Really are, my are you kidding friend. me? That's not what I meant to do. If we jump on the rock, whoa, I don't think we did this. This would have been castle courtyard area. Did we do this? I don't think we did. I wanna give it a try. This does not look familiar to me at all. So we'll ride this rock around the moat of the castle. This is so cool. Gotta watch out for the big explosives though because I don't have any health at all. So just trying to destroy every barrel on the way seems like a good idea. This definitely has to get us a doubloon, which would be amazing. Cause I'm pretty sure I didn't do this. This looks really cool. Definitely would have remembered it. We got the like little sewer section here too. Come on, come on. I guess we're taking a turn right over here. I'm gonna have to hop off the rock. Just like that. Whoa, almost the wrong way. Back onto the rock and keep going, SpongeBob. We got a lot more to do. And not too much time to do it. Only 40 seconds remaining. Doing my best to destroy every barrel. And only a few more left, it seems. One over here. Gonna turn around. Got it. And then two more ahead of us. And there we go. We didn't really get to destroy that last one, but that is our tenth balloon in this area. Where is the last one? Oh yeah, the reef blower down here for uh, Twitch's cottage. So we should be able to pick this up. And what do I want to do with it? I guess maybe go over. You can see all the, the goo walls are back. So has to do with something with. Oh, that just hurt me. Whoops. Thought that would still suck it up. I guess not. Um. Hmm. What do we do here then? I guess we just grab it and head over there. Just don't Look eat up the actual go! explosives. So I will bounce off of this, because there are some enemies along the way that we can maybe still suck at. Like you blow! over there. How did I get a full thing from that? That was weird. Ooh, uh, but I can launch it over, just like that. Get you a little bit, and these guys. And there's a button to press over there, for one reason or another. Uh, let's see what this button does. Very curious. 
Oh, it just makes more platforms. Over there, you can see the doubloon in the distance. Okay, jump and jump. Got it. And what about this, what about this? Got all those. Cool. And what about you over here? Somebody's just sort of chilling back here with the campfire. Hi, you got a pizza? <laughs> cool, enjoy your pizza. Doesn't look like they're gonna say anything though, so well, we're heading back over here now and it looks like there's at least some kind of path to go on. I don't know if we're going the right way though. Actually, I might have to head backwards now that I'm looking at this. Because the fly traps popped up over there. Okay, I don't need the mushrooms. I just need to get over this way. And those fly traps are the ones that popped out of the water, I'm pretty sure. And as soon as we can, whenever it gives us the option, we'll hit that wall with a reef blower attack. Water up! There it goes. And boom, it's busted open. Let's get that. Ooh, they're trying to get me. But we can just go like this and I'm boom. You in my pocket. That is another one done. 11 out of 11 here. And to just save ourselves a moment of time, we'll, we'll teleport back to Twitch's cottage, but instead of going all the way down there, we want to get up that way. Okay, actually, it's going to be better to go over here. So we just jump, kick, and talk to Twitchy, who should be right over here. Oh. You even picked up my bacon, egg, and cheese. Mm. Thanks, I was starving. All right, I'll go brew your magic potion one sec. Thanks, Twitchy. Gary will be so happy. Oh, I know that breakfast sandwich was meant to be eaten. One extra large half sweet decaf potion for an extra large snail coming up. Mollus magic is a specialty of mine. Your snail should feel better in no time. I'm so glad to hear that. One extra large half sweet decaf potion for an extra large snail coming up. All right, well, he Ooh, says it again, but that was great. We did really good here at Medieval Sulfur Fields. Not too much more for us to do there, so we're gonna go bring the magic potion to Gary, who is gonna be near SpongeBob, around there. SpongeBob's pineapple, I think. So we'll just sort of march over there and just get it to him, and I guess this will turn him back into normal Gary. Excited to see, for sure. All right, so right over here, you can see Big Mean Gary. He's been spewing stuff at us whenever we get close, but not this time. Drink up, Gary, and he's back to normal. Aw. Gary Bear, you're back! Oh, I promise you'll never have to take another bath. Just stay away from candy, okay? Meow. Aw. So let's go talk to him again. Meow, 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 meow. Aw, love you too, Gary. So cute, Whoa, so cute. A gold doubloon! So yet another gold doubloon for us. We are doing fantastic. There's only one more gold doubloon left to get here in Bikini Bottom. And to get it, all we have to do is go back to um, Halloween Rock Bottom and collect good noodle stars and some other things too. We need to find six more doubloons there as well. So yeah, lots of work still left ahead as we also need to get some here at Jelly Club World. But there's still more to do, but we're making great progress getting it done. My good noodle senses are tingling. Those stars must be around here somewhere. My good noodle senses are tingling too. In my stomach. All right, I guess that means that we're here. So, uh, let's see, we're at rock bottom. We'll be looking around as much as we can for extra stuff. I guess the narrator's not gonna tell us too much about here. Usually they have something, but ooh, we already find our first button right over this way. Got a super slam on this, and ooh, that's doing something. Wow, look at all the fire rings over here. This looks intense. Um. Oh, I don't think I'm supposed to break these. Yeah, I'm supposed to stay on top of them so that I can get up here. Whoa. Whoa, oh, we got hurt a little bit. That's okay. We still made it to the top and get our first gold like balloon. All right, that was still a lot of nice rewards. So we're already at five out of 10. So we're halfway through for the doubloons of this area. That's pretty cool. Sweet. And while we're running around, I already see off that way that there is another the one. So let's get on top is that pizza for you and me. of the restroom here. You can already see the little good noodle star. So I just want to make the most of that. We need to hook our way over here and boom. Oh, a sacred noodle star. I shall cherish thee. Aw, so there we go. Looks like we're off to a good start. We need four more noodle stars and five more doubloons. Let's do some trick or treating! Whoa, whoa! Uh, I think Gary may have devoured all the candy here. Huh? The Flying Dutchman is here. I wasn't expecting that. Hi! Tremble before me. The ghostliest ghost. The terrifyingest terror. The one 
the only, the Flying Dutchman! Oh, look, another Flying Dutchman costume. This ain't no costume. I'm the real deal. Yeah, uh, that's what they all said, too. Bust those imposters. Running around as wannabe ghosts. I will make them all suffer. I'll curse each of them, so any time they want to go somewhere, they'll always get stuck walking behind someone slightly slower than them. <laughs> Forever! <laughs> oh no. Such a dubious curse. For horror! Maybe there's a less suffery way, Mr. Dutchman, sir? Could we just replace all other costumes? Well, it's not as scary, but it would save me a couple of hours of cursing. Okay, fine. Take these old Halloween costumes from my shipmates. They don't need them anymore, since they're ghosts. Now, find those pretenders and redress them. Huh. So find the fake Dutchman. Rid this cursed place of these imposters. Sure, so where are the imposter flying Dutchmen? I mean, I see some trick-or-treaters, but none of them quite look like they're wearing a flying Dutchman costume. So I'm a little confused on how this works, but I guess as, as long as we're running around, we can find some other stuff too, right? I know that there might be a couple of doubloons around here, or maybe even another gold noodle star I see in the distance, so definitely want to make your way over to that. Well, game flew, slowed down a little bit. I heard about that ghost pirate scaring random people in the city. He sounds like my kind of guy. Well, he's right down there if you want to say hello. Um, right over here, though, is our little noodle star. Another good noodle star for Mrs. Puff. She deserves it. And are you one of them? Much better. Happy Halloween. Hey, I'm a dork. <laughs> oh, so there's one of them. We need two more left to find. I guess they're going to be in some pretty sneaky spots then. If it's just sort of, you know, behind a building like that randomly. So I'll have to look all around if there's anybody wearing a Flying Dutchman style costume. I'll have to go up and talk to them. But right now, I'll break up stuff and see what else we can find. Around the monster. And I do see another good noodle star on top of that pipe. Huh. Not entirely sure how to get there, but we'll maybe work our way over. Sticky sweet. Oh, maybe from that one? Here, can we? Whoa. This might be a bit of a challenge, but if we could. Ooh, almost, almost. I think we could do that though. Let's try again. Ah, may maybe not what I'm supposed to do. I'll, I'll try one more time. Maybe if I get over from here and then jump. There we go, I'm much better. For finding this star. Yes, you are. So that's three out of five of them already. So that's good at the least, but we still need two more of the little flying Dutchmen to stumble across somewhere. Well, there's a button over here that I'm pretty Ooh, sure we didn't hit. Jelly. This is on the other side of, I think this place is called Candyville. So if I hit this button, we get a reef blower. All right. And what are we sucking up? It looks like there's a couple of oh, enemies over I here, so I should happen. be able to launch through all that stuff. That was cool. We got a bunch of jelly for that too. But there's an enemy waiting for us over here. So hopefully, yeah, they'll throw stuff out as I can pick up. Oh no, oh no, watch out. Ooh, somehow I didn't get hit by that. Never mind. spoke too soon. I think we need to defeat you for the next thing to happen. So launch that over. That's half your health gone. That looks like a reef blower. It is. All right, here's a couple more. I need a little bit more than that. We need to survive another onslaught here of attacks. Come on, come on. This is it, this is it. We grab these three, jump, launch, and boom, you should be done away with. And that got us Whoa, another doubloon. doubloon. Very cool, so we should be up to six of them now. Okay, we're doing this snail race. I don't remember if there was a timer before, so we're gonna try this out and see if I can't get it done within the time and see if that gets us a gold doubloon. Ooh. This snail section is always so weird to me. <laughs> Just be able to see, oh no, the, na the snail SpongeBob. I don't know if I have to go through the rings. That makes it so it doesn't count. I mean, I figure that as long as we can get to the end on time, it doesn't really matter too much. I really don't a remember there being a, a, a timer before. Or there being all these fire rings. So either my memory is going bad or <laughs> this is gonna get us a gold doubloon. Whoa, don't fall off though. Okay, that was a little bit scary. We have 30 seconds remaining to get through the snail race. So we wanna get up here real quick. Dodge past all these other snails. We don't have a ton of time here, so I'm really trying to hustle. Come on, SpongeBob, or Snail Bob. 
You can do it, you can do it. Here we go, this is where it gets intense. Gotta go down pretty quick. But with only a few seconds remaining, will we actually make it in time? Oh, this is gonna be close. I'm really trying to move. Four, three, two, one. We did it! I'm putting you in oh man, that was close with one second to spare. We got through and we actually got a balloon out of it. So that's cool. Ooh, so way up here, shortly after, you know, we defeated the uh, snail race, we can slam on this, and then there's another challenge. Ooh, so for this one, we're just running through here as fast as we can, and there's some enemies waiting for us on this side, so let's get over, and whoa, the game keeps freezing up like that. I'm not appreciating it. We do have this big guy to fight. Sort of comboing on everybody right now pretty well. I do appreciate having the extra hit point and health, though, from finding that other golden underwear. So, let's see what you got, let's see what you got. Not happening. Uh, come on, that's gotta be it. Gotcha. Will that give me another doubloon or something? Ooh, it I will. Like Mr. Krabs. Me too, we're at eight out of 10, only two more left to find of both the doubloons and the, uh, actually two more of everything, two more doubloons, two more fake flying Dutchmen, and two more good noodle stars. All right, so we're, I, I think, scary streets now. Just trying to take a good look around at what we got. I did see the one button, and I think there was a good noodle start. There it is, so let's try these out. So first things, first we get oh, this. A sacred noodle star! I shall cherish thee. And then we slam on this thing. Where do we gotta go? I guess over this way. Ooh, quite the combo we need to make through these fire rings and everything else. Got it, got it. and then we will kick through that, and then into this tube. I definitely don't think we've been up here, so this is definitely gonna be some new stuff for us. Oh, I already see it waiting for us, come on. I'm Boom, rich. got it. So one more doubloon left to find, one more golden star. What else do we have here? I don't think we've been up here. Looks interesting, so let's give this a try. I don't know, maybe we have that. I mean, we've definitely been here, because there's a, a button thing that we've already pressed, so. I guess it, there's gotta be more around somewhere, we just gotta find it. Oh, you know what, I just spotted Ooh, right over here, jelly. another fake Dutchman. Well, that's a beautiful, scary costume. I'm going home, this stinks. Aw, didn't like the costume very much. Well, that's a- I'm Okay, so we're looking for one more, I guess they're just not only at the town. I figured that's where they would all be, but I think that's everything for this area, just one more of each thing, we gotta find them somewhere, right? So we'll keep moving forward. Ooh, okay, so we're at the slide section, there's a place right here where we can super slam, there's enemies waiting for us down here too, so hopefully beat them up, just like that, and then get you one more time, gotcha. What other enemies are around here before we go? Okay, first get rid of you, then over this way. These two are going down. Oh, they're teaming up. Not looking so happy. There we go. <laughs> Hard to defeat all these guys. I feel like, yeah, just more of them are popping out because of you over here. So, let's see that. Roll out of the way, then hit you one more time. Got it. And then I think, yeah, there's one on top of us still. Is that all of it? It is, that is our final doubloon for this area, if I didn't miss it, hold on. Whoa, Got it, there we go. So now we're really making our way through. We're just trying to find the, uh, okay, that was just mean. The uh, Sticky sweet. final little noodle star, which I don't think it's in there, it didn't look like it. Maybe we can continue down the side. Which way are we supposed to go? Uh, Hopefully this way. Oh, I think this might be the bonus way, and it looks like it was well worth it, because look what it is. Our final good noodle. good noodle star. So all we're looking for now is the, really oh no, my best friend. the final little, um, what's it called? The final ow, 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 ow. Dutchman, wherever he may be. Ooh, here you are. This one took us a good minute to find. That costume really suits you. Oh, this isn't scary at all. All right then, so there we go, we found everything. We need to go talk to the Flying Dutchman really quickly then, so we'll go back to Candyville before we head out of here, but that was really great, we, we, we got a lot done. And what will we get out of this? We got all the doubloons for the area. Hi. Well done, little sponge. Here, take this costume I found as a reward. It's certainly more scary than the ones you have. Wear it, if you dare. Thank you, Mr. Dutchman. Now I have to go. There's many a rope in need of a good knot. 
turn. See ya. Good seeing you, I guess. That was a fun little side mission. Whoa! We got the Flying Dutchman costume. That's so cool. Funny that he was upset because everybody was in a Flying Dutchman costume. So he got us to replace them. And as a reward, he gives us a Flying Dutchman costume. I thought that those bothered him. Either way, we did good. We're able to bring all the good noodle stars to Mrs. Puff to get the final doubloon in Bikini Bottom as well. This is all tailing up pretty well. So we're gonna hop right over there and talk to Mrs. Puff. All right, Mrs. Puff, I got you your little gold noodle stars back. Very well done, SpongeBob. You deserve a star yourself. Aw, Mrs. Puff, that's all that I ever wanted. And a driving license, of course. And restoring Bikini Bottom. And longer work days. Oh, Neptune. All right, well, there we go. Thanks again for bringing me those stars. Let's go ahead and grab Ooh, this one. A gold doubloon. Very cool. So we now officially have every gold doubloon in Bikini Bottom. And in fact, in every area except one. Jelly Glove World, where there are three more waiting for us. So let's see if we can't get into this one and find where those are. Finally, we get to have some fun. I just hope we don't run into Glovey. Yeah, I'm not ready to see him yet. I still need some space. Oh, it was quite the dramatic situation we were in the last time we were here. So a lot more relaxed time, but wait, there's Glovey. So if we talk to you, maybe we get something cool out of it? Hi. Welcome back to Glove World, SpongeBob. I'm so happy to see you again. Don't worry, I won't throw anything at you this time. <laughs> Anyway, complete all the new challenges around Club World, and I'll give you a prize almost as handsome as yourself. <laughs> Have fun! Ooh, so there's new challenges at Glove World. Some of these we've already taken on, but I guess we get to do them again. And we're getting check marks for some of them. But the things like talk to the fish near the Wacka Glove. Over here. Mm -hmm. Hi! They souped up the Wacka Glove, so it's extra hard now. You should try to beat the high score. All right, I'll give it a try. So. Whack a glove right over here. Wasn't too bad before, but extra challenging now. What do we gotta do? We gotta karate kick anything that pops up for the next minute. Well, except for a little Patrick's. Patrick, we wanna keep protected. But any of these, we just go straight for them. Got it. Ooh, that was good. Turn back around. Neither of these. Got it. And whoa, whoa. In the, the post there, that wasn't so good. I don't know how many I'm supposed to hit before the time runs out. I'm just trying to get as many of them as I can, really. Uh, come on, gotcha. Ooh. No, that's not what I wanted. Come on. Oh, these are all, so we could just go for them as fast as we can. There wasn't even anyone at that one. What? Okay, that was weird. And then over here, gotcha. Got it. Doing good. Neither of these, 10 seconds remaining, so what can we get done? That and that. And then, ooh. Ah, okay, I got most of them. Maybe can get this last one. You there we go. High score. Next. Very cool. I'm you in my pocket. So they give us extra doubloons for these, so that's really good to know. Um, our next one is going to be near the strong glove, way up there. I wonder if we could jump up to there. What if we do like jump up to the tunnel love? Would that maybe get us there sooner? Oh, you know what? I don't know if we should have done that. Okay, we'll go back to where we were. Glove world entrance. Just didn't know maybe we could shortcut it or something. It appears that we can't. So, SpongeBob and Patrick return once more to their favorite theme park. <laughs> Thankfully, without a maniacal mascot tormenting them now. This time, they can face the thrills together. All right, that's great. I'm, I'm glad one of the announcer actually tells us a little Love bit more about what's going on. And I didn't even cry. I love him. Aw. Okay, so we're bouncing around. We got to take the slingshot over to this side. Just like this. I mean, maybe this will still land me at the Tunnel Club. It will, won't it? Okay, so that whole time I actually wasted time. I don't know how close we are over there then. I think that maybe we could try Main Street. Aha, uh -huh, I think Main Street was, no, okay. <laughs> I gotta find a quicker way to get there, right? I don't know. Maybe I'll just try to walk over from here. Okay, so I had to jump to the Central Plaza. Wish I could have just told me that, but here we are. We got the Wacka Glove again. Hi. If you think you're tough, you should try your hand at the strong glove. It's been beefed up to the extreme. Okay, let's give this a try then. The strong glove. What did we have to do before? I think we just tapped the button a bunch, didn't we? I guess we'll see in just a moment. We look pretty intense, right? I'm just gonna tap, tap, tap as much as I can. 
and boom, sends it to the top. Beefed up, no problem. We have a champion. So now we just gotta go talk to Gluffy Glove again. So we'll go back to the world entrance this time and see what else is going on. Hey there. You did it. You made this whole glove so proud. That's promised. Here's your prize. Whoa, Rainbow. That's so cool. I love the look of this one. I appreciate your coming back to my park after the way I acted. You're a true friend, SpongeBob. Glad we could be here. But what I'm curious about is that there's still one more Dabuina missing somewhere. So I'll have to keep searching around. It's gotta be around here somewhere. Whoa, whoa, okay, wait a minute. I was not expecting that. My that just broke. Patrick is the star of my park. <laughs> All right, well, we were able to get another golden spatula there. I'm pretty sure that's the last one of the golden spatulas. It didn't really give me anything for doing that, but I'm glad I found that. I'm still looking for this last doubloon. It's gotta be here somewhere. Oh, I found it. Okay, so we're on the Tunnel of Love, right at the beginning where the boats were. I've just been following the boats all the way up. A Glove World secret! Mm -hmm. <laughs> and there we go, wanna see me do it again? We got all of the golden doubloons in the game. That is fantastic, I mean, as far as I can tell. So that's really, really cool. So obviously there's still, I guess, other rewards we might be able to discover, but as far as I can tell, we got in this area, this area, it's looking good. So let's head back to Bikini Bottom for now and we'll take a look at our rewards. So for earning up every gold doubloon, it looks like we had 20 of them right now. I'm pretty sure that means we got all the tiers unlocked, right? It does. Okay, so yeah, let's take a look. I mean, first off, we got down here the Dutchman Bob. Looks so good, it's scary. And the Rainbow Bob Imagination from getting these two side missions we just did. So that's really cool. A lot of these other tiers we've already taken a look at throughout the series as we've unlocked them. But down, I guess, starting at tier five, we have Hippie. Spread peace and love across Bikini Bottom. Fisherman, Fisherman 5, Attack of the Sponge. Uh, rocker, let's rock this place. He has a shirt that says Plankton and the Patty Stealers. Very cool. Clown, let's clown around. And then for tier six, we have Elf Bob. Art thou feeling it now, Mr. Krabs? Rehydrated Bob, let the battle begin, because he had this little army helmet he had on and rehydrated. Uh, skeleton, now I can work at the Krusty Krab forever. <laughs> that one's so spooky. Uh, the wizard, his his chops are too righteous. Awesome, I think that's of course from the SpongeBob movie. Down this way we have tier seven, Jellyfish Hunter. Have you seen any jellyfish today? Lifeguard, ladies and gentlemen, the lagoon is closed. He even has the uh, sunscreen on his nose. Uh, the Quickster, wanna see me do it again? And then over here, Biker Bob. It's what all the kids are wearing. There we go, and we get Fashion Hunter for that one. So I guess that's all the costumes. I wanna stick with the Rainbow Bob, that's my favorite one. Very cool, we're looking good. Another award unlocked. So obviously that is the main portion of content to this game. There is some extra things we can do, little challenges and achievements that we could work towards. If you wanna see me do these, be sure to let me know and maybe we'll have one last bonus episode going through getting these done. But you know, today's episode has been jam packed going through every single world and doing all the extra missions and unlocking all the costumes along the way. I had a lot of fun with it, so hopefully you did too. But with that being said, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of SpongeBob. Bob SquarePants, The Cosmic Shake. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.